Hey, hey YouTube. Well, my name is Joe. I'm Carrie. And um, we're the mobile hobos. Yep, mobile hobos. Currently not hobos yet. Mm -hmm. We're living in an apartment. Um, living here for what? Three years in this yeah, apartment? Yeah, just about three years. Yeah. Um, in Iowa, if you yeah. guys know where that is. And it's not Idaho and it's not Ohio. <laughs> Uh, nope. It's Iowa. Yeah, Baker's Head. <laughs> Cornfield. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I'm currently a truck driver. I've um, been doing that for about, say, two years. So, um, yeah, I mean. Life on the road. Life on the road. A lot of sleeping days, working nights, yeah. long shifts, uh, long hours. It's not the 9 to 5 job, it's more okay. like. <laughs> 1 a.m. to 3 p.m. job. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh. Yep. And then you were working and. Yep, then got laid off or business closed. So just currently at home, kind of researching stuff, um, learning more about health and RV life actually. So just kind of, um, trying to figure out what we're going to do, our next steps. And yeah. Um, I'm just so confused right now. Mm -hmm. um, right now in our hearts, we want to do the RVing and live full time on the road. We're watching people on YouTube and it's so inspirational and encouraging, but at the same time, it's so hard. I mean, oh, just thinking about what my parents, especially your parents are mm -hmm. going to say. Yeah. People are going to think about us. Um, losing my job, I'm making good money. Um, you know, working 60 hours a week, which is, wish I could work less, but mm -hmm. I mean, you know, working a lot of overtime and have a nice place to live mm -hmm. and there's yeah. that safety and security, just that feeling. I don't want to lose that, but at the same time, mm -hmm. I can't, don't picture myself living this lifestyle for the rest of my life. And I think there's something else out there. Yeah. And I've thought this for a while. We have thought mm -hmm. this for a while. And yeah. And, uh, you know, waiting for the right moment. And people say, uh, there's never a right moment, you know. And I don't know. I mean, it's just a lot of mixed emotions right now, you know. But right now, regardless, we want to uh, live full time on the road. Mm -hmm. And there's something inside of us that just wants to just yeah. be free and maybe be hippies or something I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, well we made our first um big step toward big it big step yep uh just last week we purchased an rv so brought it back home and now we're just getting it ready and we're actually hoping to get going here end of september so that's our plan <coughs> yeah it's our plan mm -hmm. we'll see what happens you know yeah. but i mean uh, your parents <laughs> uh, yeah. well yeah well we're new to this whole YouTube thing and mm -hmm. hopefully we can uh, improve our videos and maybe get some feedback from you guys there's a lot to learn mm -hmm. we're, we're reading we're studying we're researching a whole bunch of stuff I mean I, we I bought the we bought the RV and uh, I have no idea how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> I. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a 1989, 88, and it's a little bit, you know, it's old school, but mm -hmm. I mean. The good thing is you're a truck driver, so he knows how to drive it, but yeah. not that you have to be a truck driver to drive an RV, but. I, I guess it kind of helps. It's a good helps. thing, yeah. You know, it kind of one of the things that motivated me doing the full time RV mm -hmm. is just driving on the road and just seeing the beautiful Midwest. Mm hmm. Just like, you know, and then looking through like YouTube videos and how I can incorporate my truck driving, like, uh, on the road, driving, mm -hmm. like, and doing yeah. it as a living mm -hmm. instead of as a job. Yeah, he would come home and, like, tell me about all the beautiful places that he's seen and different um, places he wanted to take me. But, you know, with his job, you can't take your spouse. So, um,. So yeah, I was just like, oh man, I'm jealous of you, but you know, now doing this, we can be together and I mean, we could always, he could always have went to a different um, 
trucking company that would allow you to take your spouse but um for us we just wanted to like totally break out of our comfort zone and sell all our stuff and move into an rv and just see how that goes because that's gonna be a hard yeah. thing to do yeah selling our stuff oh yeah yeah I we mean, don't have a huge i have a but problem with keeping my stuff yeah we both do so <laughs> like i can't get rid of stuff yeah we're kind of sentimental people so We'll see how it goes, I, but... Not sentimental, I cry a lot. Not <laughs> I mean, I, you well, know, like that guitar right there, you know? Mm -hmm. well, yeah. I, I don't think I'm not, I'm not going to let that go, but... No. Yeah. We'll get there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So we'll keep you updated on how our RVing uh, renovations go and get an up-to-date for the road. And um, hopefully we'll um, keep you guys posted oh. and be out on September. Yes, and by the way, just a little more information mm -hmm. on us. We are 23 years old. Yeah. And we never went to school. <laughs> well, and we don't have a degree. He never went to school. Oh, I, excuse me. <laughs> you went for one year. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and uh, ever since I graduated high school, I, I I thought about going to college, but I didn't. I tried starting a business. Mm -hmm. Always that inside of me thinking there's something else out there. And, you know, here we are. So yeah. we're just going to go with the flow. And who, I guess, I don't want to say this, but who cares what people think about <laughs> us? Yeah. Uh, we got the RV, and we live in an apartment, and there's no room here, so we have it parked somewhere. And, mm -hmm. um I'm not a handyman either. I don't know what's going to happen there, you know? Yeah. But we'll see what happens, Well, I, I think you just learn as you go. So yeah. that's kind of the feeling that I've been getting is you just, even if you don't have complete skills, you just have to go for it and just learn as you go and just take that risk. Because if you stay in your comfort zone, like, you're never going to follow your dreams. And you got you to gotta dream big enough so that you're afraid of your dreams. Easier said than done, but I totally agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> There's only we only have one life to live. Yeah. You know, and it, at the end of it, it's not about what we have material-wise, how much money we made in life. Mm -hmm. It's about the memories, and it's mm -hmm. about what we did in life and how mm -hmm. we impacted other people, and you know. Yeah, because it's not like you can take it with you. So. Yeah, but. Oh, well. Okay. We'll see yeah. what happens. See ya. Keep you updated.